when Angelina Morgan was born with cystic fibrosis, doctors told her family she wouldn't live more than five years. But now, almost 32 years later, Morgan is still staying strong. I think it's amazing. I think it's a miracle of science. Five years ago, Morgan received a double lung transplant. The surgery gave her a second chance at life and more quality time to spend with her daughter, Robin Lee. She had to go for the first three years of her life seeing mommy not be able to play with her. I couldn't take her to the park. I couldn't, we couldn't do anything. I couldn't breathe. I was on five liters of oxygen all the time. Now Morgan wants more people to understand her illness, a hereditary disease that affects a person's lungs and digestive system. And cystic fibrosis is more prevalent than many people think. About 200 people have it right here in central New York and about 30,000 people have it across the country. Dr. Ron Onbar, the director of the Cystic Fibrosis Program at Upstate Golisano Children's Hospital, says there is hope for people who have the disease. Things are changing a great deal with, with cystic fibrosis. When I first started working with patients who had this illness, the average age of patients, they would live to about 18 years of age. Uh, now the average is till th about 38 years of age. And we're coming up with a cure for this disease, I believe, in the very next few years. And for families like Angelina Morgan's, that cure can't come soon enough. Jessica Kane reporting.